Here's the uh, basic commands you're going to be using uh, that we've used most of them. So right, the number of degrees, left, the number of degrees. We'll turn the turtle left or right to get it pointing in the right direction. You can tell it to move it forward or backwards a certain distance. Uh, you can lift the pen up or lower the pen. You can set the color using a string. Uh, you can set the color using three integers between 0 and 255, where turning all the color on is 255 and all off is 0. You can set the color using what's called a, a web color, and you can look these up, look up web color. You'll find nice tables that list a bunch of colors and give you a hexadecimal number, which is what this is. And you can set the width of the pen, and you will need this to do the exercise. So this, if you say 1, that's the default. If you say 3, it would make it 3 times wider. And so those are the basic commands. Now this is the tree that they show you in the book. So we want to understand this. Uh, let me give you a minute to look at it. Okay, so let me go through it. So we have two methods. So we basically uh, import the turtle. And then we have main. So this is actually a technique where you define your main program inside of a method. And then you call it down here. Um, now in main, we create the turtle in the screen. And the last thing we do is the, uh, the window.exit on click. And then we... Uh, we have some initial setup for the turtle. So after we create the turtle, we turn left 90. So remember, it points to the right initially. So turning left 90 will point it straight up. Uh, we lift the pin so we're not drawing. And then we back up 100 steps. And this is going to move the turtle from the middle of the screen down 100 steps. So the tree will have a base near the bottom of the window. So once we're at the base of the tree, um, we put the pin down and we set the color to green. So before we call tree, and let me point this out, what's important is it's the, the turtle is pointing up, which will be the direction the tree will be drawn, uh, and, it's, and it's positioned where we want the base of the tree to be. So this will draw a tree, and it starts out, the first branch it's going to draw will be 75 long, and then you pass at the turtle object because it's going to use that inside the method. So every time we call tree, it's going to draw a tree. So here's tree, and here's the branch branch length. That's how long the first branch is, and then the turtle object. Now this is a recursive definition, so there's a base case. And as we draw trees, we're going to be drawing smaller and smaller trees. We'll see how that works. And when the when the branch length gets too small, we're going to we're, that's the base case where we stop drawing. So if the base case is greater than 5, we draw something. Otherwise, we just return. So that's how the base case is handled here. So if the branch length is greater than 5, it moves forward the branch length. And that is going to draw the branch, in the first case, just going straight up. And then it's going to turn right 20 degrees, and it's going to call draw tree. But it's going to draw a tree that the branch is 15 less than the branch length. So it's going to get shorter. Uh, so it's basically going to end up drawing a smaller tree off to the right, 20 degrees from straight up. And when this returns, uh, it's important that the tree return the uh, turtle back to where it was when you called tree, and it's pointing uh, in the direction it was. And then we turn left 40 degrees, and that's going to go to the other side of the original branch and it's going to draw another tree in that direction. And then it's going to turn right 20, so that puts the turtle back, pointing in the direction it uh, uh, straight up. And then it's going to go backward by the branch length, so that's going to back down this branch length, so it, it's exactly where it was, starting position. Uh, now let's see how the recursion works by doing this in code. Now this particular version, I put a lot of comments in for you, which the book doesn't have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to start where it first calls the tree. So I'm going to run the debugger. 
let's wait for it to start and we have a little window here so it's already turned left gone lifted the pin and backed up 100 so turn left to point up and then it backed up 100 which brought it down here and now it's going to go a tree with uh, a width of 75 so what we're going to use are some of these other buttons which I'll go over in detail but there's step over and step over if I click this you would see it draw the whole tree and then it would be on the next line so, but we want to follow it inside of this method so we have to do a special method called step into so this is any time you're about to call a method and you want to trace uh, what's happening inside that method so we're going to say step into that method and so now it's stepped into the first line of the tree method now what this is this is called step out and that's the other one we'll use uh, and that's if you use step into in the wrong place uh, you may go into a method you didn't want to and you can step out immediately or maybe you you're satisfied with what tree does and you just want to continue with where you were where it was called so you can use step out to return to the method that called tree so what we're going to do is we're going to do step over and it's about to move forward by the branch length so I'm going to do step over and uh, oops I did step into I hit the wrong button so this is exactly when you need to step out notice it's stepped into somewhere which is actually called the turtle py this is actually the code that makes the turtle work so what we're going to do is step out and you'll see it goes back to there so now it's uh, it's done the forward so it's drawn the branch up and then we're going to turn right 20 so watch the head of the turtle we're going to do step over and there we go it turn right and now it's going to draw a tree so what we're going to do is we're going to see it draw a tree all the way on the right side so it's like a separate tree but it starts out it's a little smaller and it's angled over 20 degrees so I'm going to do a step over and you'll see it draw that tree and that's the recursion now we're going to step over it's going to turn the turtle left so it's going to be pointing 20 degrees that way and then we're going to draw another tree and it comes back and then it's going to go back to pointing straight up and then it's going to back up exactly the branch length it drew in this call of tree and there we are so uh, you can see that in recursion uh, the only thing our thing does the, the tree method it just draws one branch it moves right and calls itself it moves left calls itself and then it positions the turtle back to where it was before it returns and so when you called it to do this side it moved up here it moved right and drew called itself and moved left and called itself uh, when you when it went left and called itself it drew this with a little shorter branch and then it moved right and did a tree and left and did a tree and eventually it's drawing a tree that's so small that it hits that base case where the branch length's too small to continue and that's how this recursive call works so here's the uh, actual debugging buttons that you need to know about there's only three of them uh, this one here with the red arrow is called force step into it's advanced just don't use it uh, it actually does something the computer the program actually won't do um, but you're going to use step over execute this line but do not go into any methods step into step into any method call on this line step out of uh, don't step until the return of the current method so it doesn't actually return from the method it just doesn't trace anything more in the current method until it returns and then you will see it come back to the method to the line you were on before you called that method so this can be used if you accidentally step into a method so that's it um, we'll do a little more on uh, uh, recursion and drawing and, uh, and then we have some other examples